Hello, I'm Bill Valerio and I run Woodmere Art Museum, where we tell the stories of Philadelphia's art and artists. Jazz is an art form which we are dedicated to presenting at Woodmere, and this short video is part of a series that will capture highlights from the outdoor jazz concerts we presented with my friend Warren Ori and the Arpeggio Jazz Ensemble on the front lawn of Woodmere in the fall of 2020. Everyone brought their own lawn chairs, set them up six feet apart, brought a picnic basket or a glass of wine, and with masks and social distance, had a great time. We are calling this series of videos Jazz from the Art. And please be on the lookout every Saturday. We will release a new video on Woodmere's website, send a link through our social media, and send reminders in our bi-weekly newsletters. Our intention is to build excitement for the new series of outdoor Saturday night jazz concerts we will be offering this coming spring, starting in late April or May. We are making these videos with the sole purpose of sharing the beauty and staying in touch. However, we encourage that if you are in a position to support jazz at Woodmere, please become a member, renew your membership, or make a donation at woodmereartmuseum.org and click on the donate button. So with that, I want to turn to my friend Warren Ori, who I'm with today on Zoom. The weather is terrible. We were going to record this live at Woodmere, but we're doing it over Zoom like so many other things of the last year. Zoom has come to the rescue. <laughs> and um, we're going to talk about a special clip that we're going to play tonight, a composition that so many people probably know. Um, made famous by Marvin Gaye, what's going on? And it seems so appropriate that this be part of, you know, the jazz series at Woodmere, this composition right now, because how can you hear those words, um, which is actually a question, what's going on? And not think about the lives that we've been living over this last year. So with that, Warren, tell us, you know, what, what's it all about? What's going on? Well, you want me to tell you what's going on? Well, you yeah, know what? please. For, I'd like to know. <laughs> for 50 years, that question has been bopping around. And Marvin Gaye, who was really the creator, he was also the producer of this particular song, but he created this song without even having a title yet. There was so much happening. But he, he was writing it down and writing the music, he and Barrett Strong and some of the other Motown uh, composers. But his brother had just returned from Vietnam and his brother was looking around, watching uh, things that are, were going on in the streets at this time. Again, 1970, it was very volatile here in the States. And his brother just asked Marvin, what's going on? And Marvin said, boing, here we go. We got the title. And so that's how the title came about, but it's such a relevant title. And unfortunately, it's still relevant today, 50 years later, when we say what's going on, not in a happy way, not like saying, hey, man, what's going on? What's happening? But man, what's going on? And it's, uh, to me, seemed very appropriate then to bring this to the Woodmere audience. And another reason being the fact that our program Motown Meets Jazz has always been welcomed since the first time we did it and always well attended and well received. So the fact that Marvin Gaye was a very valuable Motown artist, not only, not only a vocalist, but also a drummer for Motown, that we would feature this as the, the title, as the title tune, so to speak of the program because there was so much going on when we did this and it was still very recent and on the heels of so much that had happened in the summer that we felt this would make sense. And, and we tried to theme the whole Motown Meets Jazz program around tunes that would be relevant to what we were experiencing then, not to bring gloom and doom on the audience, but just a consciousness, a consciousness and awareness and again, it shows how conscious Motown was for having so many tunes in their catalog that uh, addressed and questioned and wanted to know about things that were happening in society back in 1970, 
And we want to know what's happening in 2020 and 2021. So I felt good about it. And the same with the following tune, uh, a tune that we did a little later on in the program that we'll be presenting right after this, uh, a change is going to come. Not a change might come, a change should come, or we hope a change comes. No, Sam Cook. that's right, Sam Cook wrote A Change Is Going To Come. And that was based on a conversation. The writing of the tune was based on a conversation that Sam was having with Muhammad Ali, Jim Brown, and Malcolm X. And they were getting on his case a little bit about, hey, man, come on, you're writing all these love songs and Saturday night dance and all like that. That's beautiful. But what about the things that are happening in our society? that are happening to black people and people who just don't seem to have a voice. And Sam took that to heart and he presented it at a concert. He debuted it at a concert, not at, for a recording, but he debuted it live at a concert where he spoke about his need to address issues that were going on and his positiveness that a change is gonna come. And of course, Many changes have come since he wrote that, and that's beautiful, but there's still room for more change. And I believe, like Sam, a change is going to come. And I think as musicians and artists, it's our responsibility to spread that message, to let people know that we believe that. So I'm glad to have Roy Richardson, of all people, of all people, to interpret this. Roy Richardson sings what's going on. He plays flute. Wait till you hear that flute solo. And he not he just puts his whole soul into it like he always does. And as well as with a change is going to come, he sings, he blows that tenor saxophone solo, and he just gets all into a change is going to come. And if you watch, you can see my girl, Sherry Butler, joins him a little bit on that too with some tambourine and with some background vocals. So it's a very moving, moving piece. But Roy, who I've known for at least 20 something years, is always just a versatile and multi-talented musician, artist, and he puts his whole soul into each presentation that he does. So I'm excited about this one, very. Oh, I'm excited about it too, and and I'm very excited every time I know that Roy is coming to Woodmere. Um, I think of him as somebody with a very deep musical sensibility that just kind of music flows through him in a way. And you know, like you said, he plays saxophone, flute, he sings. I mean, he does it all, but mm -hmm. it, it comes from this deep place. And I think of him as somebody who can really put a piece of music across. He can take a melody and just make it his own and and put it across in a way that it really grips you when you're in the audience. So yes. I am a huge Roy Richardson fan and it's exciting to see him in this clip. So with that, Warren, it is great to be talking with you. Oh yeah. And oh, yeah. Um, let's, let's welcome the clip. All right. Thank, thank you, Warren. Thank you, I appreciate it. Mother, mother, there's too many of you crying. Brother, 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 yeah, there's far too many of you dying. You know we've got to find a way to bring some love in here today. Hey, father, father, we don't need to escalate. Oh, war is not the answer, yeah. Cause only love will come back yeah. Hey, you know we've got to find a way To bring some love in here today Hey, picking lines, picking lines. 
thinking signs. Don't punish me. Don't you punish me. With brutality. Come on, talk to me. So we can see. What's going on? What's going on? Hey, what's going on? I want to know what's going on.
Yeah, that's what's going on, baby. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Just wanna come. Oh, oh, yeah. 
they tell you? And somebody told me, go hang around. This been a long, long time coming. But I know, I know, baby's gonna come. Oh, yes it will. Thank you. 
Try something. How about if we hear from all these voices out here? Lead them into it, Sherry. Like it's been a long, it's been a, it's been a long. Come on, baby. So I need baby. you to help me out right here. All I want you to do is something like this. It's been a long time. Okay, wait a minute. I, I, somebody forgot this. Can't hear. Can't hear. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. I can't really hear you, baby. <laughs> so I need you to say just a little bit louder. It's been a long time. It's been a real long time. It's been a. Oh, uh, that's right. It's been a. I'd have caught you off guard, didn't I? Back up. Back up. Sarah. Let's do one more time. It's been a long time. It's been a real long time. It's been a, it's been a, it's been a, it's been a, you got it. <laughs> Come on, what we need you to do is clap your hands. Come on. Hey, we want you to feel the music. It's kind of cool out here, you know? And even though the wind's not blowing, I know you feel the chill. So listen. We done warmed you up for the first 20 minutes. So we want you to help us out just a little bit. If you feel like dancing, you know what? You can stand up uh, uh, beside your chair if you feel like it. We can't see you anyway. So just stand up if you feel like it. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. It's been a real long time. It's been a real long time. It's been a. It's been a. It's been a. It's been a. Not need to be. It's been a, it's been a, you got it now. It's been a, it's been a, it's been a long time. No, it's been a long time. But I know things gonna come. Oh, yes, it will. All right, give yourselves a big round, big round. 